A family getting justice there. Okay, Mark, thank you. Today, a big development in the case involving the 2021 murder of this woman, Christina Matos. Investigators have at this point made another arrest. The 20 year old's roommate is accused of helping to cover up the crime. Matos's father telling WREL that he is relieved, along with the rest of the family. Uh, her aunt saying that we've been waiting for this for a long time. WREL's Chelsea Donovan joining us live now. Chelsea, you were at the jail when these new charges were filed. What can you tell us? Yeah, we certainly were, and this new defendant was shocked to say the least. 20-year-old Christina Matos was found stabbed to death inside of these apartments here on Hillsboro Street. She was actually found murdered inside of a locked bedroom just a couple days after the crime. Her husband, who she had married just five days prior, was charged in her murder. Now, though, two years later, her roommate, who she lived with here, has been charged with helping cover up that crime as well as destroying evidence. Kaylee Lynch Ferracano looks straight at our camera as she prepares to see a magistrate. The 21 year old is about to be read her charges stemming from two years ago. On Easter Sunday of 2021, 21 year old Christina Matos was stabbed 16 times in the neck and the head inside her Hillsboro Street apartment near NC State. She was found locked inside her bedroom. Days later, police charged her new husband, Eric Hernandez Mendez, with her murder. The family told WREL in 2021 they believed there were more people involved in their daughter's death. She was a sweet girl and she had all the future. That arrest came today. Christina's roommate, Kaylee Lynch Ferracano, an NC State student from Clayton, arrested on charges of accessory after the fact of murder and obstruction of justice for allegedly helping Eric Hernandez Mendez cover up Christina's murder. She was indicted on the crimes on Monday. Her indictment reads, knowing that Eric Hernandez Mendez had committed that felony, did knowingly assist him in attempting to escape detention and punishment by destroying, disposing, and deleting evidence, as well as providing false information to law enforcement officers. Now, Eric Hernandez Mendez remains in jail under no bond. Lynch Ferracano is also in jail right now under no bond. She'll actually go before a judge tomorrow for her first court appearance. We'll see what's said then. Chelsea Donovan, live force in Raleigh. Thanks, Chelsea. We've learned a staff 